Hello, hello, happy Sunday, hello. solutions for sellers. I'm excited to be hanging out with you guys this evening. I'm going to give it to you raw tonight. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're missing in order to get out of this funk that we're in. And for those of you that are saying, well, I've tried everything. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm consistent. I'm showing up. A lot of you guys are making the realization, right, in that one post that you're in business maintenance mode, right? We're in maintenance mode. We're not in growth mode. There's a massive difference between the two. Yes, I love it. Ignited a fire. Very helpful. I need a vision board. <laughs> I need a vision board. Commitment to ourselves. Hello, Susan. Comment below if you haven't commented yet. Ella, I'm so excited that you registered for the boot camp. It's good to know that we are not alone in this struggle. This is what this community is all about, my friends. This community is about reaching out and helping each other. And I saw, I saw somebody else also make a comment about the self-care and how you appreciated that self-care was a part of the post. I'm going to lay out to you here, okay, three reasons that you may be in your funk. And I know that we kind of addressed some eye-opening things tonight. Based on a lot of your comments, I was reading and seeing that a lot of it, it was it was addressing you, right? You felt it. It resonated with you. But I've got three reasons here, and I hope that you're going to keep your mind open, and I hope that you're going to receive this information. We actually did a really powerful exercise with my group coaching clients a couple weeks ago, or the last two weeks, and we've been really diving in because it's a different season, right? Does everybody feel the temperature in the room of the season that is today's climate. Seems like everybody doesn't want to talk about it. We just want to act like it's not there, but it's there. It's different, right? It's different. It's a different season. I'll tell, I'll say it. It's freaking weird right now. I don't, I don't want to cuss, but it's freaking weird right now. Arvell, excited that you registered for the boot camp, my friend. It's not the same as it was before. I'll say it. It's true. Can I replay the boot camps a week later if I sign up? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Well, we have a workbook list and plan and you can whip us into shape and get me outside of myself. That is exactly why I created this Revive and Thrive Accelerator boot camp. That is absolutely 100% the goal. The goal of this boot camp, okay, is to get you out of this funk. And I'm not going to do it by giving you brand new information because you don't need brand new information. What you need to do is readjust this. And I'm going to give you three reasons why you may be in your funk. And so if you guys are open to receive this information, then I'm going to give it to you. I know it was eye opening when we did it with our students a little bit more in depth than our group coaching program the last couple of weeks. But here I'm going to give you a simplistic version because we don't have 45 minutes. So here's what I'm going to say. Number one, and I want you guys to really listen to these. And when I start reciting this to you, I want you to participate in the comments and tell me which one resonates with you the most. Okay. You guys ready for this? Comment with an emoji in the comment section. All right. If you're excited to hear about these three reasons, because these are going to be also eye openers. I'm going to be like reaching into your soul. <laughs> That's the goal, right? Reaching into your soul. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I love it. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. I love seeing the participation tonight, by the way. So excited to see you guys on here. Hey, Diane, my friend. Hi, Karen. All right. So let's talk about it. You ready? Number one. Let's talk about number one. This is perfect timing. My company is having their convention this weekend and I will be there next year. Yes, Angela. Let's get your mindset in gear and let's create an action plan that is going to create the best holiday season, okay? Here's number one though, three reasons why you may be in a funk and it's typically gonna be one of these three. Y'all ready for this one? Cause this is one that I felt in my soul. This is one that I felt deep down in my soul. You've given more than you have and not getting enough in return. Does that comment resonate with you? You've given more than you have and you're not getting enough in return. You feel depleted. Therefore, it shows up in your results. Who here feels depleted? This is not going to be a negative live. I'm just calling out actualities. I'm calling out reality because it's different. 
Is it not? The season is different right now. Let's talk about it. Let's stop acting like <laughs> it's hunky-dory because that's not, okay? Now, I promise I'm going to end this in a positive note because you guys know me. For those of you that don't know me, by the way, I'm going to keep it positive, I promise, okay? Here's the deal. If you are trying to pour out of an empty cup, you are not going to get much out and you're not going to get much back. It's going to show up in your results, period, period. Now, most of us, I think, are women here, right? There might be some exception of some men, maybe. I've seen a couple men in, in the comment section tonight. But as women, we are natural servers. Like, we want to serve. We want to help. We want to give. We want to just help others. And then we're last. And in reality, you have to make sure that you are served too. Because if you want everything else, including your business and your life, if you want to see growth, if you want to see your life change in a positive way, you need to make sure that you're able to give that. And you can't serve from an empty cup. It's a cliche statement, but it's so true, right? Yeah, if you have teams, thank you, Mylene. If you have teams or if you have other people, leaders, upline, sidelines, all the way around lines, tag them in the video, invite them into the group and tag them here because they need to watch this. Everybody needs to watch this video, okay? So that's number one. You've given more than you have and you're not getting enough in return. So you feel depleted. You're exhausted. We're tired, right? Is it just me? We're tired. Here's number two. This is a big one and this is going to hurt your ego a little bit. Your ego has to hear this though, because your ego is calling the shots right now in your business. For most of you, I can't say all of you, okay? Because this isn't my group coaching students. I know all of my group coaching students. So when I when I do that, I know what I'm saying to them. And typically the same message is, is going out to the students because I know them. But for most of you, I don't want to speak for most of you because some of you were like, I'm not going through that. And that's okay if you're not. That's fine. You might not need this training. If that's not you, that's totally fine. Number two, this is going to hurt your ego. You are allowing outside circumstances and things you have no control over to deter your belief system. Does that resonate with you? Comment below if that resonates with you. You are allowing outside circumstances and things you have no control over to deter your belief system. Here's another one that's going to hurt your ego a little bit. And hey, you know what? I invest in a coach every month, okay? I invest in a very successful coach every month and I have to hear it too. And I love when she tells me like it is because it's it, it gives you that, it allows you to hear about yourself. And sometimes we need to be able to hear about ourselves. So that leads me to the next thing that is still number two, right? You're believing the story you keep reciting that's keeping you stuck. I want you to write that down. If you have a piece of paper next to you or a post-it or a notebook, okay? I want you to write this down. Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> okay, here I am. Look, here I am. I'm going to tell you guys something if you're new here, okay? I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> I am Latin and I talk with my hands and sometimes I'm a little loud. So <laughs> forgive me. Please forgive me if you feel like I'm shouting you. <laughs> Sometimes it just naturally raises. <laughs> anyway, you believe the story you keep reciting that's keeping you stuck, okay? It's keeping you stuck. And this story that we're saying to ourselves has been practiced behavior. I'll give you some examples. And you guys can comment below if you have examples of stories that you're reciting to yourself. Thanks for the tags, by the way, okay? <laughs> no say apologize. <laughs> Here's an example. The economy is the reason why my business isn't succeeding. That's a story. Some of you are going to disagree with that, but it's a story. The people aren't buying as much as they used to. That's a fact, but that doesn't mean that they're not buying. And a lot of you are hiding behind that comment that people aren't buying the same. They're saving their money. Sure. But that doesn't mean that they're not buying. It's a story we are hiding behind. I don't have the time is a story we're hiding behind. I don't have uh, I don't have the skill set. Once I get my certification in, once I finish this training, once I get through this boot camp, how many of us in here are professional students? A professional student is a student that goes from training 
to training, to training, to training, to training, with the hopes that going through these trainings will bring them success. But the problem is, is when you stay in professional student mode, you never implement. And what happens when you never implement? You never get the results. But your mind feels satisfied and your ego feels satisfied because you're in your safety zone. You're in your comfort zone, right? You've attended the classes. You could check that box. You were you did income producing activities because we checked that box today, right? I'm going a little hard today. This is what I do with my group coaching students, by the way. So forgive me, but we need to hear this message, you guys. We need to hear this message because I hear from time and time again, nobody's buying. The interaction is low. The engagement is low. Da, 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 da. Who cares about engagement? I'm saying that too. Engagement has nothing to do with your ability to start conversations and build relationships. Nothing to do with it. If people aren't engaging in your content, you need to change what you're doing. And if you're, if you're hoping that your content is going to somehow bring you success, you need to change what you're doing. That's a story we hide behind. We can't just check off the checkbox, right? Oh, I posted my content today. Now let's wait for the sales and wonder why we're not getting the sales. We That's not how it works, right? So when you start to unpack that story and decide I'm no longer going to recite that story, I'm going to be different, I'm going to do different, you're going to start seeing different. That's just how it works. <laughs> a leader once told me, do you want to stay in your slippers or wear your high heels? I like that. That's really deep. I like that comment. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I'm not, I'm not here to give you a fluff talk. Okay. I know sometimes on our Sunday segments, we have like really good trainings and there's step by steps and believe in yourself and all the good things. But then there's times like the season that we're in where many of you are struggling right now, struggling hardcore, but it's always somebody else's fault. Ouch. Trust me, this was fed to me too. Well, Janet, why are you focusing focusing in on the things that you, you that you are not in control of? That's one of your biggest problems right now. And I can tell you that 100%. Focus on the things you can control. You can't control when you send out 10 messages that everybody ignores you. You can't control that. You can't control that. But you can control that you're out there sending the messages anyway. That's what you can control. That's a good example, right? So number two, you're allowing outside circumstances and things you have no control over to deter your belief system. And y'all, if you don't have a belief system, it's going to be really hard to create success. You need a belief system. You need to believe that you can do it. And all of you can because you're all here on the Internet. And for the most part, you guys are spelling everything correctly. You showed up on time to this event, right? So it's not a time issue because you're here. You've been with me now for what? Since eight o'clock, we've been together for 46 minutes now. You're here. You're here, my friends. Okay. Here's the third point. And I promise I'm going to read some of your comments. Here's the third point. Okay. The third reason why you may be in a funk is you're focused in on the wrong things. Who here thinks content is the most important thing in the world? Because that business maintenance and that business post that we posted tonight, that was a huge eye opener for a lot of y'all. A lot of you are like, what? Content isn't everything, believe it or not. It is not everything. It actually means nothing if you are not out there creating the opportunities to build relationships. Content means nothing if you're not out there starting conversations, following up on conversations, inviting prospects to things, and socializing on social media. That's what social media was made for. Social media was not initially designed for sales. The trick is you want to use the algorithm and you want to use social media the way that it was designed to be used, to socialize. And in those social conversations is where the sales come from. It's where the growth comes from. It's where the recruits come from. And if you're spending way too much time and energy on your content, I teach my academy members, my, my Simply Sustainable Academy members, once a month, you take the content that we create for you, you make it your own and you personalize it, and then you schedule it out. Because the last thing that you need to worry about on a daily basis is content, period. For those of you that post reels, reels can be time consuming. 
Not if you don't, not if you plan ahead. Not if you plan ahead. You don't have to do the fancy funky dances, right? We're not, I can't do any of that. I, you know what I do? You guys want to know my quick, really quick reel strategy on how I post reels every day? I take a crap ton of videos that are already on my phone that's called B-roll, candid videos. I just post my phone up and I play with my kids. I post my phone up and we go to the park. I post my phone up and we go to the, we go to the beach and we record maybe two or three minutes at a time. And then I take a five second video, I slap some text and I use chat GPT to help me with the caption. That's how, that's what I do. And then I just build up a whole bunch of reels in my drafts until I use chat GPT to create my captions. And then I start just posting them every day. I do it ahead of time. You know why? Because if content is the main focus for you on a daily basis, you're missing out on what really matters, which is the relationships the growth portion, the growth portion. I keep losing my connection. Can someone repeat number one? Number one is you've given more than you have and not getting enough in return, Lucretia. Okay, just in case everybody else missed this. And number three is you're focused on the wrong things. Content, they say content is king. Sure, sure. But conversations is queen, okay? Conversations is just as important, okay? You need conversations in order to make conversions, period. You just do. I know ChatGPT is awesome. We need to do like a class on that at some point. You guys could you guys want a class on that? We did do one training in the academy, but at some point we'll do it we'll do a, a class on ChatGPT. I'm still learning it, but it's incredible. All right. So here's the deal. We're entering the most incredible season in our industry. Can can somebody say in the comment section what's right around the corner? What's right around the corner? It's September, yeah. But what is right around the corner? Black Friday. Do you know when you need to start setting up for Black Friday? Right now. Right now. Right now. Not October. Now. This is the time. Is This is the time you should be building your list. This is the time you should be creating tons and tons and tons of conversations so that you can have an incredible business. And I'm realizing in a lot of the conversations that I have with you, okay, because I know a lot of you guys like individually, some of you guys DM me, some of you guys are in my academy where I talk to people a little bit more, like I'm realizing just how unprepared we are. And that is what this boot camp is going to allow you to do. So if you're not in my Revive and Thrive Accelerator boot camp, I'm going to lay out for you. I haven't done a boot camp in over a year. The reason why I'm doing this now is because I know it's important and I know it's going to help you. The reason why we're doing this is because A, we need to adjust this because you can't have an action plan. I can give you a, a blueprint. I can tell you exactly what to do right now. And I guarantee you, you won't do it because you're going to go into paralysis mode. You're going to go into overwhelm and we're going to prevent that. So that's what day one is about, is getting your mindset into gear. Number two is where we lay out the action plan. And number three is where we go implement. That's what day one, day two, day three. So if you haven't signed out, signed up for it, you have time. Click the link above my video. Go sign up. Okay. It's only $27. All right. Go sign up for that. And it's going to be the 27th through the 29th. But here's my message for a lot of you guys. Okay. And I wrote my notes just to make sure it keep me on track. Are you going to continue to recite the same story that you have been reciting all summer long? This summer, I have seen so much negative talk my friends. So much negative talk on our businesses. Yes, it's harder now, but that doesn't mean that you can beat yourself up. That doesn't mean that we sit here and say, poor me. We can't do that. That's not a strategy. That's not productive. That doesn't help your psyche. That doesn't help your belief system. That doesn't take care of you. You need to take care of you, my friends. Okay. You need to take care of you. Well, happy birthday to your son. You can always get it and then catch the replays. Just saying. Upland's already talk, uh, talking this and making sure we are getting prepared. Perfect, Darcy. Good. If your up uplands have a plan for you, great. Now is the time to be preparing for this. Right now. But you can't prepare unless you clear out this clutter in your brain. You need to clear out your clutter. So I want to encourage each and every one of you, reread the post for tonight and make a plan of action. If you're not going to do the boot camp, create a plan of action. I'm going to answer some questions here. The early bird special, um, what is today? The 17th. The early bird special is good. I believe I got to look at it, but I believe it's good until Friday. <clears throat> I keep thinking there's another way, like a new updated way. There's not an updated way. You don't need an updated way. You just need the basics. 
and you need to get really, really good at the basics. Everybody's like looking for like these new techniques. There's not a new technique. There's not a golden script that's going to make you a bunch of money. There's just not. There's not a perfect training that's going to get you from here to $100,000, right? Like it just doesn't exist. What exists is honing in on the basics and doing that consistently for 90 days. If you can focus in on the basics, if you can get into your mindset and kick that negativity to the curb, especially with my mindset exercises that we're going to be doing on day one, it's going to kick you in the butt, by the way. So I hope you're ready for that one. If you can focus in on that and stay consistent for 90 days with what I'm going to teach you, you're going to have a phenomenal Black Friday. I'm not going to guarantee anything. I'm going to tell you, you're going to have a phenomenal Black Friday. You just have to get outside of yourself. This is real talk. I'm giving you real talk from coach to you guys from friend to friend, okay? This is real talk. So I want you guys to take some time, review the posts, if you're not gonna sign up for the boot camp, and create a plan of action today. What are you going to do today to change the story that you keep reciting in your brain? How are you gonna unpack that and write a new story so that you can cater to and take care of your belief system? Your belief system is what keeps you going. The one thing you need to get out of your funk right now, that what you need, is to curate that belief system in you. If you don't have a belief system, you have nothing. You have nothing, okay? Helpful? Hashtag value in the comments. Who's joining the bootcamp? Comment below if you are. Having conversations and sending out emails to your customers. I'm so new. You don't have to send out emails. As a network marketer, if you're in direct sales and network marketing, that's a good question. If you're in network marketing and direct sales, there is zero requirement to you ever to start. I mean, you can. It's smart long term to get into email marketing. But all that's going to do right now, if you're not mentally prepared for that, is going to overwhelm you and keep you from growing your business. Right now, what you need to do is grow your business. You need to grow your business. You need to focus in on the basics. Starting conversations, following up on conversations, inviting, and socializing. Those are the four things even I'm going to say a really bold comment. If you never posted a reel in your life, but you did these four things, you will grow your business faster than a person who's posting a reel every day. If you never posted a story in your stories in your life, and you did these four things, and you focused on an action plan, and you you took care of your mindset, you will grow your business. You will have an incredible business in 90 days. Emails be more effective than Messenger. For business, I would say no. I mean, unless you have a catered to and nurtured email list, we have a nurtured email list, okay? So when we send out an email, people reply, people respond, people read it, right? But if you don't have a nurtured email list, I wouldn't even focus on that right now. I mean, if your business is thriving and you're getting customers and you're doing well, then sure, you can start pivoting to start focusing in on email marketing. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's not important. Some of you guys think that I need to have a brand. You don't need to have a brand. You just need to do these four things. (laughs) Listen to me. These four things. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. I'm so glad that you guys are loving this. Okay, let me see. Do you guys have any questions? Comment below with your questions because I think I missed a really long question. I told her that I would look at it. Okay. Do you have any ideas about Messenger? I'm August. I got blacked out, blocked from using Messenger for a full week, two times in the same month. So if our four weeks of August, I was blocked from Messenger for two of them, trying so hard to build relationships with people and parties. However, when they message me to play the games and I can't respond, how can I build a relationship? Get off of social media. That's my recommendation. Get off of social media. You have to get off. You know how you do this? You know, you guys are like confused now. What? Get off of social media. Build your text list. Build your text list. If you're struggling with Facebook and you're in that weird jail thing, because it's happening to a few people where it's like they, they're sending messages too fast and they consistently get in jail and now it's like a back-to-back jail thing, get Project Broadcast and build your text list, okay? Build your text list. Key. It's very, very key. If you're struggling on social media, you need to build it. Because what happens when Facebook shuts down? Remember that one day Facebook shut down? And everybody was like, oh, no, I I didn't say, oh, no, there was a lot of us that were like, oh, okay, well, this is weird. But we didn't panic because we had an email list and we had a text list. We had other ways that we could socialize with our followers. We had other ways that we catered to our customers. And if you're gaining customers, you need to have them on an onboarding plan. Okay, 
Any customer that you get, you need to get them systemized on a follow-up plan. You need to be in an intimate relationship with your customers because that's how you create forever customers. And then forever customers become your teammates. That is how that revolution works. Anyway, now I'm blabbing. Okay, now I'm blabbing. <laughs> your lives have really helped me a lot. Do you set PayPal? Yeah, it should have a PayPal option for the boot camp. Anyways, I'm going to recap it with this. I don't want this to be a super long training. Hashtag value in the comments if this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, will there be a replay of the last day of the boot camp? I'll be traveling that day. Yes, there will be a replay of the boot camp. Absolutely. Okay, there's also a lifetime access option in there. So as you are signing up for the boot camp, you can add the lifetime access. Otherwise, you have 30 days of access into the support group. Okay, you guys make a plan, get it together. Black Friday is around the corner. I'm here to help. Let's do this together. Okay, enjoy the rest of your night and I'll see you in there. Bye, friends.